hello welcome back to the channel um so uh, we, are, we are continuing with our series on uh, how um on daisy and uh you know daring abroad um so today being financial tuesday we're going to talk about the financial implications of all this so uh, one thing you're going to realize about um as we continue with the, the the story is so far we have reached where daisy um was uh given the idea to start a business now i want to talk about the fact that um um how to raise capital how um money that you work for what you can do to put money on the side for you to be able to for a future plan now it's very hard to save <laughs> it really is and um a few things that i have found that are very helpful when you have a real target that you you want to reach you know a specific amount that you need to reach by a specific time one thing i've realized is as long as you have money that is um fluid do we say fluid uh yeah you you're able to use it it will find something for it to be to be used for. so uh one thing that has really helped me is number one um i know this is this will sound really dumb but merry-go-rounds i really do think those things come in handy if you're with the right people who have the right objectives merry-go-rounds can be a really good way to save money um the second way would be good old-fashioned fixed deposit you put the money in a fixed deposit account say for uh two years and at the end of the time you have you know you get your money back other one that um is also a bit more secure and a bit a little bit more uh, interest friendly is um buying treasury bonds um this one you can do either through your bank or directly from uh, kcb uh from central bank uh you can buy treasury bonds and this would help you with um keeping the money away so that it is you know you know specifically this is how much i need and this is um for how long i need to have it now the reason why I am not mentioning things like money market and all that is because money market, as much as yes, it is for long term and a long term for you to get the good interest. It's a long term investment. But reality is if you get a call that your child is sick or something has happened, you are withdrawing that money. You know, it's, it's not money that is unwithdrawable. And when we have i mean of course if something is if if you need money you need money but the other thing we need to realize is sometimes emergencies are just as much of an emergency or sometimes we don't have money because we know that we have money somewhere else that we can tap into but um when that option has been removed you will be amazed how creative you can be now the other thing to be careful about is so let's say for example your salary is a thousand i'm not going to say which currency but let's say a thousand if your salary is a thousand and you're trying to save um make sure you're saving realistically if the money that you're put okay you're putting some money away but the money that you're going to put in this fixed deposit so the money that you're going to put in this long term high yield thing can it not can it be slightly less than half of that for the simple reason that you do need some money in case of an emergency you need two types of savings you need the long term savings like the goals and then you also need the savings in case of an emergency so you do need to have the two and i think the savings in case of an emergency is where the money market comes in because that is money that is there you can withdraw it at any time but it's still making interest it's still get earning some interest. The same thing with the savings account. That's the same thing that it does. It's still earning some interest, but it's money that you have access to. You are charged to withdraw it, so you think twice before withdrawing it, but it's still money that has um, <coughs> that is available to you. Now, the other thing that um, bothers uh, me a lot is 
some people decide that what they're going to do is they're going to trust a family member. I don't know why, but uh, many of these people who've gone to Saudi or to wherever, they have such sad stories of what family members did um, with the money that they were sending them. And to be honest, sometimes I feel like it's better to try and just do it on your own legally. What you do is open an account before you even leave the country. You open an account, right? If you open an equity or a cooperative or a KCB account, you open an account, right? Then the money will be put in that account. You will be able to send money in directly into that account. And the other thing is just very phone. You can go anywhere with it. It will be roaming charges, but you can still deposit money into it. You know, you can, you know, have, you, you have when you have online access to your bank account then you are able to actually do every single thing by yourself you know depends on your long-term goals for this particular reason uh, for this particular reason we are talking about when you are when you're working for example in the middle east trying to save money to go to somewhere else or trying to save money to start a business or trying to save money to buy land and build a house so that you can come back home and have a good so this is when you have a specific objective that you're doing and i think that some of these things that it's really helpful if you already leave when you have your bank account and you you're just ready to attack when when the money comes in you're just sending it straight to the bank account so that's a short one today for the um investment tuesday but just be careful you know as i always say it's your money work hard for it don't let somebody take advantage of you and steal it from you so we continue tomorrow and hear what daisy's next plan was